Hey guys, got a battle scenario for you. Just been hiking 30 miles. You got your ruck on your back, you're exhausted. You need to lay down for camp, you don't have a tent. Your bag got ripped, no tent. You got a poncho, that's it. What are you gonna do? And how to build a tent just out of a poncho and some bush, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Now I know that you guys aren't all military specs, so I'm gonna be using the Yes For All. This is a civilian ax, and it is also a multi-tool you can also buy. Um, it has a saw in it, it has a flint starter in it. This is what I'm gonna be using. This would be the only tool I use to start my, to build my fort. I'm gonna use this along with some cordage, and we're gonna have some fun with it. Let's get down to it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find a big old log like this. It's an old tree I found. I used to lift with this. Nice and long. You want it to at least be your body length because this is gonna be the main body of the tent. Now, you're gonna to wanna to find some two pieces of wood around your height. Obviously, they don't have to be. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to put them up, make a little triangle like this. Hammer them into the ground. These are gonna act as the, the wings or the, the walls of your fort. I want to make sure you have a big enough opening to actually get into your fort. Or else you're going to have a little bit of a problem. There you go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our big old log and lean it up against there. There you go. You have to frame the fort. All right, now I have a little bit of cordage I'm going to use to just make sure that that's all nice and tight, tied together. So we're gonna pull out what we need. It's probably about that much. We're not gonna cut the string because that is a waste of string. We're gonna go around like this. We're just gonna lash it together. Now we actually had a real scenario pop up. I don't have a poncho in my backpack. I already used it. So we're going to be using some garbage bags. I always carry these. These are super helpful in the field. Um, and we're going to be making our fort out of garbage bags, at least. Hopefully it doesn't end up like garbage. But we'll see. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take pieces of wood and jab them in with my tent stakes. You want to make these nice and tight. So that your tent doesn't blow away. I did a great job of that. We'll throw that one in there again. Find another one of these helpful little tent stakes. And grab this, uh, okay. Sharpen your tent stakes. Okay, we've got the first one down. Now I'm gonna do the second. Now with this one, I'm gonna have to split it in half to get more room. So I'm gonna use my trusty ax. That's why you wanna sharpen your ax, folks. And it should cut right through it. Come on. There we go. And with this, the inside of this, you could use it as cordage, but since I already put this thing together, I'm not going to bother. But that is an option to you if you use garbage can, garbage bags. That's why I prefer them in the field. They're always in my pack. Super helpful. So we're just going to continue to rip this thing down as evenly as possible. Sometimes you can kind of get the seam and then you're good. You're home free once you get the seam. And now, 
It's two times as long. We're gonna have to rip the other side, but that should be no problem. Got the seam again. There you go, you have a little tarp. Let's put this thing up. Now we're gonna put this one more closer to the door because this is a big one. Get my ax. Maybe we're not gonna be able to put it that high, but I cut this piece off. Get the tear of the bag. All right, right about yonder to do. We'll throw this pit stick there. Find another tent stick. Sharpen her up real quick. And then you're gonna to wanna to go every other side so that it's not offsided or uneven. Found a few more tent stakes. Sometimes you can get lucky, find a big old stick, break it in a few pieces and you're good. Always sharpen your tent stakes. Up. You want to stretch this as much as possible without ripping so you get most space inside the makeshift fort slash tent, whatever you want to call it. And you just kind of want to ride this thing up a little bit to get the most out of each bag. There you go. Now I just need two more bags and we should be good. All right, there we have it. While this may not get five stars on Yelp, this is going to be a pretty good fort. And we're going to put it through its paces because look at those clouds coming. It's gonna be a nice and wet night. So I'm happy with how the shelter turned out. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of shrubbery on top of it just to show you how it can be camouflaged, but I'm in my backyard, I don't need to be camouflaged. I'm not trying to hide from anything. Um, and then with that extra cordage, I just put it up here. Just get rid of it. Don't cut your cordage, because in a survival situation, you're cutting cordage you're just wasting because <laughs> you might need to use that cord for something else so here's what the inside of the fort looks like nothing much it's not that comfortable but it's not meant to be it does its job so that's about all i've got for this segment of the video um and yeah we're just gonna see how it holds up tonight again this is made out of 100 percent garbage bags a little bit of cordage and it was made 100% the help of the yes for all axe.